Harvest Alert forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. And is here with our weather wise question. I'm hoping it's easy. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> all right, we'll have to see <laughs> what you think of this question then. Let's take a look. The average high temperature will reach 40 degrees in Cedar Rapids on A, February 24th, B, March 3rd, C, March 13th, or D, March 22nd. I'll let you think about when the temperature, so we're going to be in the 40s this afternoon. I'll let you think about when we typically reach the 40s in Cedar Rapids. But first, let's take a look at your first alert. We've got all green boxes highlighted on it. Not really expecting any impacts as we head into the next day. So on our Fayette City Cam, the sun's starting to brighten the sky a little bit. It's going to be a fairly nice morning with a mix of sun and clouds across eastern Iowa and temperatures in the 30s. 32 degrees in in Cedar Rapids, 33 in Iowa City, and 30 in Fayette, with winds coming out of the northwest around 15 to 20 miles per hour. So this weekend, it's going to be pretty quiet. That's because we have a high pressure system situated over D South Dakota and Nebraska. One thing this high pressure system is doing is causing us to have some winds coming out of the northwest. This is why it's going to be a little bit or a little bit cooler today compared to the last week or so. In our satellite and radar, we've got that partly cloudy sky across eastern Iowa. These clouds coming in from the north. We're going to have that partly cloudy sky continuing into the afternoon. Some sunshine is going to be very nice to enjoy today. Overnight tonight, we're going to have a partly cloudy sky, partly cloudy on Sunday morning. High temperatures for today in the upper 30s and low 40s, 38 in Fayette, 38 in Decorah, and 41 in Cedar Rapids. We're going to be 10 degrees above normal in Cedar Rapids with that partly cloudy sky. Overnight temperatures in the 20s, 28 degrees in Washington, 26 in Cedar Rapids, and 26 degrees in Decorah. Partly cloudy with winds coming out of the north, 5 to 10. So the forecast is still above normal for February, but it is going to feel a little bit cooler because we were so warm last week with those record-breaking high temperatures. But headed into Thursday, the above normal conditions begin to dwindle. We actually have temperatures back in the 30s in the nine-day forecast. In our next system, we aren't, isn't really going to be until Wednesday night into Thursday. Chances for precip look pretty minimal this week. Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when we could see our next chance for rain showers. Now we have in our uh, long-term temperature outlook, February 17th through February 23rd, warmer than normal conditions in the forecast across the state of Iowa. Long-term precipitation outlook for that same time period, February 17th through February 23rd, equal chances for above and below average precipitation. Now here's your nine-day forecast. Temperatures staying in the 40s Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Overnight temperatures in the 20s past Monday into Tuesday in the 40s, 46 on Tuesday. Valentine's Day looks very nice. 44 degrees, partly cloudy, 44 and partly cloudy on Thursday as well. And for next weekend into Friday, it's when it's not quite as nice. We have 30s, 30s. Mid 30s are still warmer than it's supposed to be in February, but it isn't going to feel as nice as it has been the last couple of weeks. Now here's your weather wise question, Emily and Rebecca. What do you think the answer is? I think it's C. I think it's A. It is B. Oh. We're both wrong today. March 3rd is the answer. So actually, the beginning of March, we typically start to see temperatures in the 40s. That's still about a month away. It's wow. a little bit less than a month away. So very warm today. But one, one thing I'm grateful for. So January to February, the least favorite months of the year. They're the coldest, they're the saddest, it's just the way it is. <laughs> but the fact that we've had so many days in the 40s at the end of January into early February, I know the cold is going to come back, but we are taking the coldest days of the year and making it warmer. So uh, that that's kind of nice. The, the worst part of the year hasn't stunk as much as it could have. Always good. Yeah. Thanks, Hannah.